that millions of children in Yemen could be pushed to the brink of starvation unless international aid is dramatically stepped up. We've talked already a lot about Thanksgiving and travel, but there are many families who won't be able to put food on the table without help. The historic number of jobs lost, another 742,000 filing for unemployment claims. But still living on the edge. There's food, if you can pay, many cannot. It's 20% more expensive than a fortnight ago because the currency has crashed. Its citizens' immune systems are exhausted. Their healthcare system is 50% destroyed by the war. Some provinces have two hospital beds for every 10,000 people. Now about the profit, that he said that he will raise the profit like Moses among you, brethren, but among the Israelites. Now, when it comes to Israelite, look, they all been in exile. Almost everybody are migrated in different countries. They are all over the world. The Torah says, the Bible says, uh, they are all over the world. The God said that he will bring one by one, by handpick himself and bring it back. Now, they don't know. They really don't know they are Jew or not because they took and adopt the culture of that time. Now, Hinduism is 6,000 years old. Now, Judaism is 3,500 years old, uh, Christianity is 2,500 years old, and, uh, and Muslims are 1,500 years old. So, tell me whom God was walking with. I am not over here trying to justify myself because I born and raised in Hindu family, but let me tell you, we So you're saying, accept me, and then you'll see me do the same thing. That's well, a little that's hard your to Rambam, believe. Uh, that's your Rambam tell you. But if the God chose the Moses, when he killed somebody, okay, then God have rights to choose anybody. The part of the Judah. I born in Judah. I am the son of King David, the Daniel, the second son of Daniel. I am from the tribe of Judah. I am the Israelites. God will bring the one they don't know who they are, and He will bring them back to Jerusalem. And remember in Jeremiah, God literally said, even the, uh, the prophet Jeremiah said, the, the one who are in exile, the one who went to exile in Babylon, the, those are the one blessed one. And God will bring them back. First, he God will bring them back. That's a God promise to the one who was in exile. So when it comes to Israelite, I am one of your brother. So uh, look. Uh, Hinduism, Hinduism is just a religion and all religion teach you a good thing. So I am not over here to debate between Judaism and Hinduism or Muslim or Christianity right now. But I know who I am and that's what I'm trying to justify that I am from the tribe of Judah. And that's what God has promised uh, the scepter will come from the Judah. That's who I am. I am the Shiloh or Shiloh, whatever you call. Now, remember. Sam Our special guest, Sam the Messiah. Together, welcome with an open heart. Sandy Daria, the Jewish Messiah.
us because God speaks to autonomous man and says, you have bragged about how you can run the world, here's your chance. And he runs the world into the ground. Except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. During the first half of the tribulation, two miracle working prophets of God based in Jerusalem tell the world's population why God is judging them. They also proclaim God's free gift of salvation available through belief in God's Son, Jesus Christ. Exactly three and a half years into the seventh year period, the world leader kills these two prophets and enters the rebuilt Jewish temple in Jerusalem. There he demands the entire world worship him as God.